Let's dive into the fascinating world of Substance Designer. In this journey, we'll explore the intricacies of creating a stunning wood texture. But wait, there's more. We'll reveal some nifty tricks along the way, like using presets to make your texturing process a breeze. So, fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this creative adventure. Let's kick things off with the anisotropic noise node. We're cranking up the warp and applying some smooth blurs, dialing down those intricate details to achieve a more delicate texture. But here's where the magic happens, adding multiple layers at varying heights using more anisotropic noise nodes. By tweaking the seed values, we can conjure up a smorgasbord of different shapes and patterns. To give it that authentic bark feel and maximize versatility, we're employing the quantize node. It's got these nifty adjustable settings, making it a breeze to adapt our material to all sorts of objects. Now we're throwing in some grain for that extra dash of realism. It's like giving our wood a vibrant, lifelike aura. When it comes to colors, we're tapping into the curvature smooth node, taking normals as input, and crafting a beautiful grayscale masterpiece. We sharpen it up for some striking contrast that's visually arresting. To define those wood hues, we're turning to the gradient map node. It's got this fantastic gradient spanning from light to dark with some subtle twists and turns. And for that extra pop, we're adding a second color to complement specific forms and shapes. And let's not forget about the ambience. Ambient occlusion is in the mix, giving our texture some depth. We're even blending it into the base color for added dimension. After countless meticulous adjustments, voila, we've got our final result. And here's a nifty little trick. Thanks to the various presets, it's easy to save and load a wood preset that we've previously configured. With the many parameters at your disposal, you'll be able to adjust them easily. As a bonus, this method will even work across various software platforms such as Marmoset and Blender. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget, the download link for this material is right below the video. Keep those creative juices flowing.